Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll related videos every single day. And today's video I'm really excited about because it's something all new. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Barbie Signature Looks dolls. So I think about a week ago I made a video comparing the holiday Barbies and comparing a Barbie extra doll to a doll from 10 years ago. And I kind of was completely in love with the Barbie extra doll despite previous entries in Barbie extra really disappointing me. So I've been looking closer at the Barbie line and the perfect opportunity arose when um, Entertainment Earth reached out to me and was like, hey, is there anything on our website that you would be interested in reviewing for your audience? And I found these. And I was surprised by how low of a price they were. So I picked those up and here we are. So I am now an Entertainment Earth affiliate. By the way, these were sent to me as part of their affiliate program. So if you guys are interested in them, I'll have, descript I'll have information about that in the description box of this video. So... The reason I was so excited about these is because these remind me a lot of one of my favorite things Barbie ever did, which is the Barbie Basics line, which is just a very simple collector line of Barbie dolls in little black dresses. And then there's also like other lines, like this one is black outfit with jeans, but these are pretty hard to find now. Um, and I love them. So looks has been intriguing to me because they kind of remind me of that they come in a pretty simple outfit, but they have really different face sculpts and face deco to what most playline Barbies have. But usually with Barbie, I've noticed that collectors will buy, say this doll was a fashionista and she had like an outfit that wasn't my favorite and she had an unarticulated body, people would have bought her for her face and hair and then had to buy a made-to-move doll with the skin tone, which sometimes is impossible, so they would have had to just get clothes, and then find an outfit for her. Um, but this circumvents a lot of those steps. So this is number seven, and this is what the line for these ones look like. So this is eight, seven, and nine. I picked seven because she's on the petite body, and I don't actually think I have any Barbies on the petite body, at least no made-to-move ones, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then I got this one. This is number 10. So I think this is from the more recent line of these, but I'm not actually 100% sure. I apologize. And I actually got her because she was on damaged box sale and I didn't know what that meant, but she was cheaper. And this is something Entertainment Earth does because I perused their website a lot before deciding on these dolls to review for you guys. There's a little bit of scraping on the box and that gave me a $6 discount. So that was pretty cool. And then you can see this line of dolls. I super like both of these, actually. They're so cute. So I'm pretty sure she's on the taller body. I don't, is it just called tall? And then this is probably the like standard or whatever they would call it body. And then this is, I don't know, maybe the curvy. So I'd love to have more of these. And I'm really excited. My only qualm with these so far that I can think of is that I'm not the biggest fan of the made to move body. But I mean, the look of the body doesn't change how fun it is to pose. So anyway, let's get them out of the box. These were a very pleasant unboxing experience. I don't think these dolls are the type of collector dolls that are intended to be left in package, but the packaging is quite cute and it's pretty sturdy, so it would be fine um, if you wanted to keep it or if you wanted to display them in it. Um, but these dolls are so much fun that, um, you know, they didn't put too much effort into the packaging because they didn't really need to. Also, these are mostly only sold online. Here are my two dolls out of the packaging and they are so beautiful and i was already having fun posing them while i was unboxing them so that's a testament to how fun the posability is i'm really intrigued by these so first of all they come with a i understand why they did this because it's like this is a collectible doll it's different than a toy doll you know because some collectors need that to feel secure in what they're doing but like this certifies that your barbie barbie looks doll was created through collaborative efforts of designers and artists in mattel does that imply that all the other dolls aren't right like that's kind of weird um and it doesn't denote like which doll you got or anything it's fine i don't care about the certificates um but i just thought that was kind of funny anyway uh first thing i have to say is that i'm extremely impressed that these dolls are at the price point that they're at not because there's not other dolls on the market right now that have similar articulation and similar quality for the same price but because mattel usually doesn't do this in my experience but maybe i've been wrong and i just haven't been looking in the right places because again i was under the impression that these were not at affordable playline cost i know they're not technically playline but like i was wrong these are fantastic so the first one we're going to be looking at is this one and this is our tall girl um and i'll be giving them names or something later i'm just Really bad at coming up with names for my dolls. Oh my gosh, look at her face. Okay, so she has really long saran hair. And since she's on a tall body, it's even longer than it appears. It goes down to about her butt length. 
and it's really, really soft and nice. She did have quite a bit of shedding. You can, oh, that's, that's actually the thread, I think, that was holding her hair in package. But she did have quite a bit of threading that I just um, carefully finger combed out. But that's pretty normal for Saran, so I'm not worried about it. And I'm not worried about this with Barbie either, but she has a fantastic amount of hair on her head. Um, with Barbie dolls, they tend to have less hair per plug, so it gives you kind of like a natural shape to the hair, the way it falls and stuff, which I quite like, and it makes styling really easy. She has a middle part in her hair as well, and I really, really love the Saran hair. I'm so glad that uh, Mattel still sometimes will use the Saran hair because I really love it. And then her face, I have no Barbie dolls with a face remotely similar to this. I'm thinking it's just the screening, though, because I don't think this is a new face sculpt. It might be, though. Um, I really, really love the shape of the lip so so beautiful and the makeup is super interesting and colorful and you can see that on this doll too um despite the outfit being quite basic and i'm not saying that as like basic it's normal but basic as in like barbie basics like not a lot going on with the outfit which is a good thing in my opinion for me i really like a high quality simple outfit most of the time i prefer that to a really like opulent um, out there outfit i say that a lot but it's very rare that you see that captured well on dolls and although this particular doll's outfit is not my favorite. I just, I know this fabric is going to lose its shine and I don't like the way it flashed back, it flashes back to my flash for my light so I can turn it off and show you. It looks better in kind of a neutral lighting, but I'm just not a big fan of this particular fabric. In my opinion, it looks cheap, but you know, overall, it's a very nice piece. I really like the shape of the sleeves and it does look like a really nice shirt. Like it's, it's well made. There's nothing wrong with it, so... Um, that's just my personal opinion on that. And then she's super, super tall. Like, look how long her legs are. It's so interesting. Um, I love this little skirt, too. It's made out of this, like, shiny, pleather-like material. Um, I don't think this would peel very easily. You'd have to really stretch it, and there's no real reason to stretch it because it's a skirt. The only part that I could see getting stretched is the waistband, but even then, I don't think it would. And it's very cute. I super like this piece, and I really love that all these dolls come with very versatile pieces because that's the nature of them. Because again, I really think they're trying for what Barbie Basics did, which is just very simple, basic pieces that you can use in lots of different outfits. In fact, I want to trade outfits between some of my like basic and looks dolls so far. I've already, uh, I've already kind of decided that I want to get more Barbie looks dolls, and I haven't even finished this review yet. I'm just very impressed. All right, now I'm going to take a look down at her shoes. All right, so this is what her shoes look like. And although I'm not a big fan of ankle articulation normally, I'm super liking the subtlety it gives to posing this doll. And these are really nice little shoes. They're very simple, no paint involved. It's just um, like a metallic-y resin used, metallic-y plastic, but they're pretty nice. But like, look at this subtle, subtle little kick I can give the foot. It's just, it's very pretty. And you can see that ankle articulation there. These dolls are on made-to-move bodies. You guys know, if you've been watching me for a while, I don't like made-to-move bodies. I specifically prefer the bodies that the Barbie Extra dolls use, but the these are made for collectors collectors tend to prefer the made to move body i just personally don't like how the joints look here and i think there's other dolls that have done them better but i mean that is a really impressive amount of posability but if you're not doing a super extreme pose they just look really um not great but there's not really much you can do about that um i don't mind it on the legs as much rainbow high has it too and it doesn't too much bother me but the thing that does bother me is that they do it on the elbows. I just don't like how it looks on the elbows in particular. And I think Liv Dolls had the same articulation on the elbows and the legs, but they just looked a little bit better in my opinion. I don't know. Um, but I assume that I will have so much fun posing these dolls, as I already have. I've just been fiddling with them and changing their poses very subtly this entire time, and I've been having a blast doing it. So I think I might end up changing my mind on made-to-move bodies, because I don't really have a lot of made-to-move bodies. These are going to be my first, some of my first fully realized dolls that have made-to-move bodies um, that I will enjoy posing on the shelves, as opposed to the Barbie Extra dolls or any of my um, early fashionistas dolls that have something more similar to this. Oh, and the made-to-move body has a chest joint. My favorite joint in the world for a doll to have. It is so rare that they have it, and I really appreciate it. Barbie Extra Dolls do not have that joint. Um, I have a pretty good time posing these dolls. Like, I don't, um, I don't feel like I'm missing too, too much, but I think the little bit of extra, or it's not even a little bit, the double the amount of articulation in, say, the knee, because this one can hit a right angle. This one can go all the way to a kneel, which I quite like. So, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Gosh, sorry, I brought over my favorite Barbie Extra doll. It's kind of not fair. I just, I really like this doll's outfit and her hair so much. Um, but these dolls are so, so beautiful. 
I think it's very interesting that the Barbie Lux dolls are actually cheaper at retail cost than the Barbie Extra dolls. And I know the Barbie Extra dolls come with a lot more stuff, but like, look at this doll. She's so, so beautiful. Oh, and these dolls come with stands. These dolls come with stands. Yes, they do. Um, they're weird stands because I think Barbie had to have different stands now because they have these different heights now, which is so cool. I'm excited to have dolls that actually use the different heights finally. So look at this. There's different heights on the stands. So this is the tall stand and this is the petite stand. And you can see where I had to put the waist clips. Um, that one fell a little actually. Um, that's closer to where the waist clip actually goes. But um, that's super cool. I'm glad they did. And I'm glad they're not the... Because mostly when I get Barbies, they have the stand that wraps around their thighs. And I hate, hate, hate that doll stand. I wish I could... If I could change one thing about dolls, it would be that they never come with that stand ever again, and all dolls come with hip-hugging hip stands forever. <laughs> Anyways, now we're going to be taking a look at the petite, I think this one's called like the curly ponytail. I swear they all have some kind of little name, but this one. So this one's really cool. She has this really beautiful hair. Um, it isn't the best straight out of the package. I'm going to have to condition it, but look at it. See what I mean? It lost some of the curls, but I think if I condition this, it'll be fine. And I do think this is saran also. It's not polypropylene and it's not nylon, so that leaves us with saran because Kinecolon's not manufactured anymore. It's really, really pretty, and I love, love, love the ponytail. So gorgeous. The next doll we're going to be taking a look at is the petite doll with curly ponytail. That seems to be her, like, name. They all have a number, but they also all kind of have a name. So this is tall with long hair, and this is petite with ponytail. She's so pretty. I really love her face, and I... I'm really bad at seeing faces, and I'm also not a big modern Barbie collector, so it's hard for me to identify what faces they have, but look how beautiful. Just like with the taller doll with the long hair, as uh, Mattel seems to be calling her, the makeup is so bold, and I love the cat eye. And this is so unusual for Barbie. I feel like, especially recently, Barbie dolls don't really have a lot of makeup, and a good example of that is with the Barbie Extra dolls, actually. Um, they have more makeup than usual, like way more than usual, and you can see that they really don't have a whole lot. So it's really cool to see different makeup looks on Barbie dolls, because I feel like even throughout Barbie's history, you don't really get a lot of really bold eye looks like this, so it's really cool. Um, and I love her lip shape too. I feel like the face designers had a lot of fun with the faces on these, and I appreciate it a lot, because... Again, um, one of the big reasons that I'm not super into modern Barbie is because even the ones that don't have the same face often will have very similar looking faces to each other. And these are so, so different. And I really love the edges that she has. I really love the way that they're styled. She has like different, like there's some curls here and then there's some hanging loose here. It's really, really pretty. And I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fans of just painted on edges as opposed to having sculpted on edges but I think they look good I don't really mind it especially on a Barbie head because Barbies have such small heads and then you can see that she has this super high ponytail that's off to the side a little bit okay so I did a no-no usually usually I will not touch a doll's hair in a review because I want to show exactly how it comes out of the packaging and then I'll mess with it later she had particularly bad box hair so I attempted to brush through it um, and I kind of made it worse but you can see what I'm talking about with the box hair. So I would like all of these curls to kind of be together because she had a really cute curly ponytail that she was intended to have, but I made it worse. But um, it is saran hair. It's very nice and it's rooted in a high ponytail. So it probably is a little bit thinner than most, but you can actually see all of the little plugs through the hair. So um, it's just that saran's very thin. So normally you can actually achieve a high ponytail with no big issue. Um, very soft, but it is quite dry, so I'm just, I'm not gonna mess with it too much, I'm just gonna condition it with warm water, and it should be fine. Um, it's just a thing that happens sometimes with certain hairstyles, and I think it looks good regardless. I think she's really, really beautiful, but I just want to give you that disclaimer that I'm the reason the hair is not looking how it's supposed to. I apologize. And then you can see, so I think these dolls in turtlenecks and jeans would look great, but I really don't like that joint. Like, I don't know, is there no way to have the rotational motion in here? I don't know. I'd have to look at all of my other dolls that have this level of articulation and just see how they disguise the joints. Um, I, I usually have no issue with joints on dolls, like absolutely none. I think that they usually look just fine and they're not a big deal to me, but I don't know. It's the arms on the made to move bodies. And I also just don't like foot articulation in general, like ankle articulation does nothing for me. Um, 
But again, this is a beautiful joint that moves so fluidly. It is double jointed, so that one is fully flexed, and then the other one will go, and you can see that she can hit really cool poses that you'd never really see dolls hit because of this. Oh, wait, look at that. That kind of looks natural here. Well, when it's posed, it's not too bad. God, look how pretty she looks. So cool. And we're not even looking at my favorite joint in the whole world. She has the chest joint. So, 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 so cool. Love it, love it, love it. It just adds that, like, subtle extra oomph to a pose as opposed to a standard Barbie doing this exact same pose, if she even could. Um, so I appreciate it a lot. And then this outfit I super like. So this very outfit is very, very simple and probably pretty inexpensive to produce. I can't imagine this. Oh. Oh, sorry. This is not the fabric I thought it was. Wow. It's, like, soft. What fabric is this? It's like a knit fabric, but it's soft. Okay, interesting. I, I thought it was something else. Well, I was going to say I didn't think it was very expensive to produce, but now I can't tell you because I don't know what this fabric is. It's super pretty. I really like it. It's very simple. The construction of this is quite simple, but it looks fantastic, and I appreciate that. And again, that's the strength of a doll like this. You can have a pretty simple outfit, and I don't mind. I think it's fantastic. Very, very pretty. And I think a... You can see some of that saran shedding, but I, this is because I brushed it, so again, I hugely apologize for doing that <laughs> um this is what i'm talking about with like i don't mind a cheap to make fairly simple construction type of outfit simple looking outfit if it's done well and this was done very well i think it looks gorgeous on her and i really like how they managed to have that super bold makeup but still a very basic outfit a again i don't mean basic in the <laughs> in the colloquialism of basic i mean like basic like it's a simple two-piece made out of one fabric, just like this is basic in being a black t-shirt and jeans. Anyways, I think having the Barbie Basics dolls over here has made me want to use the word basic, but it has a different connotation now, and it's not the word that I mean at all. Um, anyways, this is her... All right, here are her gladiator sandals, which were a fantastic choice for this outfit. I think they look really, really cute with the rest of the outfit, as you can see. And I love gladiator sandals. I don't think I have any Barbie dolls with gladiator sandals, if I recall correctly. Um, and they look super good. You can see that they, mine are a bit deformed from packaging, but they'll, they'll get back to where they were. It's no big deal. And these are interesting because the slit in them doesn't go all the way to the top. So it's just meant to help relieve the pressure when you remove the shoes and put them back on. Uh, you can see that ankle joint. I don't know. There's just something about it. I think I just prefer dolls that have the, like, big fashion feet, like Monster High, kind of. I don't think Monster High started that, but they definitely popularized it in the doll world. Um, anyways, get that back on there. Because it helps emphasize the shoes, and you can have more exciting shoes. But these are, like, really cool shoes for Barbie. I feel like Barbie very rarely gets to have interesting shoes. But, I mean, these are interesting, but, I mean, how much painted detail and sculpted detail can you do? Although, I will say, look at the sculpted detail of, like, the stitching at the edges of this and like down this little centerpiece. It's very, very pretty. So I appreciate all of the detailing that they do on these. I think it's really nice. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. I love that subtle reflectiveness that the stand has too. So that's about it now. So the main thing that attracted me to these dolls and made me want to add them to my collection is that they have such varied faces and hairstyles because that's something I don't see a lot in Barbie dolls. Like her hair is like this really cool red with purple blend and I really love the curl texture to it. I just need to condition it to see if I can get it back to the way it's supposed to be looking. Um, but also the posability. Again, you guys know, and I've mentioned it several times in this review, I, I try not to do that because me not liking made to move bodies doesn't change that made to move bodies are great doll bodies um it's just that personally i prefer the look of like the barbie extra dolls joints uh, but i also was very intrigued by the posability of these so i'm gonna try to hit look how pretty the pose that she just happens to be in is by the way like i didn't go out of my way to make that pose anyway so i wanted to try out some poses with these and see what we could do so first of all this is kind of funny but i like to sit with my knees to my chest so i wanted to see yeah so that's something i can't do still better than most dolls can do get the knees pretty up there but um a big problem i have with a lot of dolls oh, that's so pretty actually check that out this pose without the heels on this would be so pretty it would just be so like model and the, oh i forgot about the chest too pop the chest out hmm i'd have to work with this a little bit more arms are pretty long oh she's so so beautiful um, a big problem I have with a lot of dolls, and I'll actually take the skirt off to illustrate this to you guys, is that they sacrifice... Oh, they taped it up. This is something they used to do in my scenario. How funny. Um, they sacrifice this area looking pretty cohesive and, um, not having really unsightly joints like this. 
for posability. So if I were to go in here with a little craft knife and cut this out a little bit more, I could actually get the knees closer to the chest. I really wish that they um, would allow me to do that. So see, the thing that's stopping this isn't the joint, because the joint will actually continue moving. I'll show you. The joint will continue. Like, that's the flex flexibility of the joint. It goes all the way. Um, it's just being stopped by this line. So I've actually done it before with the rainbow hide all to test it. Um, you can cut, and I would love to do a video on this if you guys would be interested. You could actually cut further up to see if you can get a better um, range of motion there. I actually wanted to take that skirt off anyway so we can take a look at the posability of these bodies. I also think I'm going to be changing her outfit pretty quickly because I'm just not the biggest fan of this shirt in particular, although I might actually leave the skirt because I really like it. Oh, these have little tags. That's so pleasant. Hold on. So this one doesn't, which is surprising because this is kind of the main interesting piece. So here's this. It's a pretty simple piece, but I don't mind it. This one has a little Barbie signature tag in there. How cute is that? Okay, so let me try some poses because that's just what I'm very curious about. Because when I first started collecting dolls, that was actually my big thing is that I wanted posable dolls. That was like, I would not buy any doll that didn't have articulation or I couldn't find a body to give her articulation. And when I started collecting, the most posable you could get were the Barbie fashionistas that and the Liv dolls. But Liv dolls don't have the most like... Their joints are not the best looking, and they have pretty, like, loose joints, too, so it's kind of annoying. Um, okay, so you can see that I can't even get this doll to sit at a right angle, and this one does it pretty comfortably. This is a big problem I have with Rainbow High Dolls, too, actually, is that they cannot sit at a right angle. It drives me crazy. Um, and again, this one doesn't have the chest joints, so check this out. <laughs> She's so pretty. So that adds so much to the pose. And then here too, oh, look, they have completely different bust sizes too. That probably has to do with her being a petite body and her being a tall body. That's so cool. And then also getting that like twist adds something to, oh, can it not twist? Oh, I thought it could. That's not a big deal. I just really thought they could. Interesting. I mean, it can a little bit. Huh. Interesting. But the, the subtle twist that I am able to achieve does add a lot to the pose. So, so pretty. And then again, you can do a lot of like... Most dolls can't even touch their own face, and these can touch, like, any part of their own face. They can play with their hands and their hair. It would be very... Look at that. So, so pretty. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. These might single-handedly change my mind on the made-to-move bodies, honestly. Which would be annoying, because I'm very behind on the made-to-move thing, and I'm sure lots of skin tones are totally impossible to get now in made-to-move. Because that's how Barbie gets you that's what i was so frustrated by with barbie was like if i fall in love with a barbie and it happens to be a fashionista because a lot of the times the best like the most varied faces and hairstyles were in the fashionistas line but the fashionistas never have articulated bodies and they always have outfits that make me want to cry not always but a lot of the time but they always have fantastic faces and hair like most of the time so then i would have to buy a made to move doll that has a similar hopefully the same but usually just similar um skin tone and I would probably lose the petite, curvy, short, or short as petite. Um, I would probably lose the body type. I would have to stick with the, like, standard body type. And it would just be a lot of steps and a lot of money to make my doll a little bit more posable, you know? So I really appreciate that this looks line is making that a lot easier and they're affordable. Usually the Made to Move dolls retailed for around $16.99, $16 I think. So to be able to get a fully realized doll with the Made to Move body... Um, not that Made to Move weren't fully realized, but most people didn't care about the little yoga shirt and pants that they came with, and they didn't come with shoes either. Um, so to be able to get a doll like this for like $5 extra is pretty fantastic, and I'm really enjoying the posability. I always wanted to be able to hit this pose, and I actually have a doll that can do it with no joints showing on her body, by the way. She has like um, internal joints and wire. <gasps> she can do it! She can do it! Oh my god! Okay, wait. She can do it. She can do it. This pose, I actually broke one of my Monster High dolls trying to hit this pose, funny enough. One of my customs that I did. I wanted to get a picture where she just barely had her um, head raised, and obviously they can't do that. Um, so she can't raise it any more than this, but that is awesome. This is so cool that she can do this. So cute! So cute! See, if I were advertising for my more posable doll, this would be the exact pose I would show. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. It's just... A pose you can't really hit with most dolls. It's a rare one. Look how cute this is. I really wish that there was a waist joint now that I think about it, but then they wouldn't be able to really wear belly shirts. They would have a really big waist joint showing, but honestly, I wouldn't care. If we're going to go with the weird 
elbow joint, then we can go with a joint right here. God, this is so pretty. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. And then I don't even want to change this pose. It's so fantastic. So one of the my favorite things about dolls. So when I was a kid, I wasn't super into dolls. And I kind of will clock that up to a lot of reasons. First of all, I just like more fantasy dolls generally. I, I don't like to have like 45 nude blonde Barbies is the joke I always make. But I'm being serious because that was, I mean, 20 years ago, that was kind of a very real thing <laughs> you would end up with. Um, at the playline especially. Um, although I did grow up in a time when there were a lot more, there was a lot more variety than there was 10 years before, you know? Like, I had lots of variety with, like, my fairy topia dolls and stuff, and I loved them. But I felt like there wasn't, or I feel like there wasn't a lot going on. And especially in posability, there wasn't any. I don't remember having a single doll with joints, like, even, like, a basic elbow joint with a hinge. So when Monster High came out, they were basically, like, little action figures, but they were dolls, and that's what got me so into dolls. So to have posable Barbie dolls like this is so cool to me. And it's so much fun. And it really helps me connect with Barbie more. And I do really love Barbie dolls that aren't posable. Like my Barbie Basics dolls. Like my um, Fashion Fever dolls. Like I have lots of dolls that aren't posable that I connect with uh, a lot. But I used to be very like specific. When I first started collecting, I was like, every single doll has to be posable. Every single one has to come with a doll stand. Oh, I hated if a doll didn't come with a stand when I was a kid. Even the stands that they had, because I had some Mycene dolls that came with stands, and I had some DC Barbies that came with stands. But um, although I, I do think the DC Barbies maybe had waist-hugging stands, I don't 100% recall. And I had some Kaiser stands too. But I don't know. I never had a stand that worked quite like the Monster High stand. Just simple, unobtrusive, gets the job done and I really and I know fashion fever originated that but I didn't have those I had one fashion fever doll and I don't remember her coming with the stand and if she did I don't know um she was the styles for two doll um with the journal but I love I love a good doll stand it has to be a waist hugger I can't stand a saddle stand or like a thigh grabby stand because if I decide to change the shoes and they have like a little bit more of a platform then that stand completely falls apart and it's not useful anymore so it's very annoying um but I just I'm really in love with these I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> laughing at myself though because I've been saving these Barbie I think I actually have one over here let me see um out of shot on my filming desk I do I've been saving these Barbie fashion packs for dolls <laughs> that I get, but I really don't think these would look good on these dolls. I feel like these dolls have, like, really, really, like, powerful makeup, and these might look a little silly on them, but um, maybe I'll get Barbie looks dolls eventually that will look good in those outfits. I mean, I still think they would look good in them, but I think they need something a bit more elevated and elegant and fun. Ooh, I kind of want to, just because this happens to be right here, put this, like, Paris Hilton dress on her. Ooh, this is sacrilege. People, people always are like, people buy rainbow high dolls and put their dresses on Barbies. It's like, yes, I, that's playing with your dolls. It's fun. It's fun. All right, let's see. Just curious. This would look good on her because she does. Ooh, one of the little studs came off. Um, she has pink makeup. Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, she is on the tall body. So this is like way too short on her. Um, I also don't think I like the style on her. Hmm. Well, oh. I did not even know that was there. Paris Hilton ribbon. Cool. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to have to go through my Barbie clothes collection and see if I have anything for these. And if not, hmm. I mean, I like her original outfit. Like, I'm not... Oh, I did not realize it came all the way apart. Um, I like her original outfit just fine. I'm not mad at it. But I just want to try new outfits on them. I'm really excited about them. I do think any Barbie basics outfit would look really good on them. But I kind of want to play into the colors that are in their super bold, pretty makeup. Uh, anyway, that's a lot of just... Um, rambling about them. I'm in love with these. I cannot wait to add more to my collection. And again, thank you so, so much to Entertainment Earth for uh, basically how this worked is they asked me if I would be interested in being an affiliate on their site. I said, well, let me look through it. And they have a lot of stuff that I thought you guys would be interested in. So I was like, sure. And then they offered me affiliate credit to pick up some dolls. And I spent some of it, not all of it. And I got these just to test them out. Because, specifically because this one was on a damage box sale. So I was like, why not? And then this one was on the recommended. And I was like, okay, I need that one. She's really beautiful. <laughs> um, but I am in love with these. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you're interested in picking up any of these, I will have links in the description. They are affiliate links. So I will get, I think it's like 7%. Um, but don't quote me on that. It's somewhere in that range um, back. And that will go directly to supporting the channel. I use it. Um, I specifically set mine up. I think it might actually be 10% because I set mine up to be store credit, so it's not money that I can actually take out. 
I mean, I could set it up that way, but I set it up to be money that goes directly into my Entertainment Earth account, and then I can buy more dolls to review for you guys. So they don't actually have MGA products, so I will have to expand my horizons a little bit. Um, and if you guys see anything on that site that you would like me to review, I implore you to let me know. I will probably stay within dolls and doll adjacent things just because for now my channel will not... Um, my audience just, my audience at large just isn't super interested in action figures and stuff, although I am. Um, so, uh, there might be space for that eventually on my channel, but right now I don't believe that there is, just because I have so many dolls to review already. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'd love to know how you guys feel about these dolls. Did you already know about them? Did you, I mean, these have been out for a while, not these particular ones, although I do think this one's been out for quite a while. Um... But how do you guys feel about these? And have these improved with time? Like, should I go backward and buy some of the older Barbie Basics dolls? Let me know. All right, for all this time, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye!